Let's start on the driver's side inner sill, indicated by the red arrow. There are two small rubber plugs that you will remove, red arrows. Then insert a long 5mm Allen into the holes and unscrew the Allen screws. You will be doing this blind. You do not need to remove the Allen screws, just loosen them. Note the seat has been removed for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove the seat. Use a trim removal tool and starting at one end, lift the plate away from the vehicle. Red arrow. Work your way from one end to the other. Lift the sill up. Here you can see the six clips that sit into the opening in the body. Red arrows. You can also see the two brackets that the 5mm Allen screws sit in, indicated by the blue arrows. Disconnect the wiring harness for the trunk and deck lid, red arrow, by squeezing in on the tab on the connector and separating them. This image shows the two 5mm Allen screws and how they sit in the body, red arrows. On the passenger side, begin by removing the rubber insert. Use a T20 torque and remove the single screw, red arrow. Use your trim removal tool and separate the sill from the body in the same manner as the driver's side. There are no 5mm Allen screws to worry about. The outer sill plates on both sides are just held in place by an adhesive strip. You can pry this up and off. If you are worried about cracking the sill plate and planning on reinstalling it, I recommend you use a heat gun to help the adhesive give up some of its hold and then use a large trim removal tool to remove the sill. Clean the area well before installing the new sill. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.